this dish is it's done for one pot and that's it you know and the best thing about this is you know you can make a big one or a small one and it's good for like parties or you're watching a game or you're watching your dad cut the grass while you're inside you know like just looking at him you eat that stuff you know Today we're gonna do a little chorizo dish. So what we're gonna do is to get this onion and uh, we're gonna cut it a little rough. Just like that, nothing fancy. Same thing with this tomato that we got left over here. This dish is really good, man, if you're gonna, you have stuff in your, in your fridge and you're kinda like, oh man, it's gonna go bad, what am I gonna do with it? Or, oh man, my parents left us in here. What are I gonna do with all this stuff? This one is kind of like, we mix it all together. We're gonna cook it. Something to watch when the, when the, when the Spurs are winning like they always do, you know? Um, or you're watching the Bears because the Cowboys never make it anyway, you know? So anyway, that's a different story, my friends. So we're gonna come over here where I'm at. We got this pan going, right? So we're gonna add our chorizo. All right, it's not that hot, I guess. Oh, there it goes. You hear it, it's going. Like everyone knows, right? Chorizo takes a while. Stir, stir, stir. Nah, nah, nah. What happens is everyone knows, right? We cook chorizo, starts rendering all that fat, right? What happens? The grandma always gets it, takes all the fat out, right? Oh, mijo, you don't need all that cholesterol. Take all that chorizo. But with all that, all that grease we're taking out to allow that flavor, right? What I like to do is save a lot of that, of that, of that fat that came off of that. And I like to like mix it into my mayonnaise, mix it into something that, that I could use again later on. You know, it works well like that. And it's just because it has all that, all that spices in there and that flavor is really cool. I know one of my buddies, he likes to save it. He makes popcorn out of it, right? So then you have chorizo popcorn. I know, mind blown, whoa. You cook potatoes in it. You can cook eggs in it. You make it part all that flavor. And you don't have to use the oil like to start cooking because you can use that fat that's from that chorizo already. So we're over here cooking chorizo. I, but I don't know about you guys, but just the smell alone reminds me of growing up when I was a kid. Hey, what's that smell? But then the Mexican music's playing, so you don't want to get up because you might have to clean. So you wait, wait it out till they wake you up. Mijo, breakfast is ready. That's why you know there's no chance of cleaning up. If not, no hombre. That or you send your little brother, hey, go see, what, go see what mom's doing, right? So all we do is cooking this out, nothing crazy. We all do the same thing, all right? We're cooking the chorizo, cook, cook. See, so you can tell like the way it is. Um, some people, when they cook their chorizo, they like to cook it until all the liquid's out and it's little bolitas, right? And then that's what they like. Uh, it depends on what you're going for. Okay, so here we go. You can tell, like, look at that. You know you can smell that. And we keep on going. Just a warning. This dish right here, if you have... Heartburn the way I do all the time. I always carry my old man pills, make me feel better. Cause you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of, of heat off of this, a lot of chile. You know, you're gonna see the final product, but just a warning in advance. Take those tums, my friend. See, as you can see now, like it's separating, right? The fat right here. Right? And it's becoming like ground meat, right? Like the texture. So that's where we're trying to go. So we got that. Now we're gonna add our onions and tomatoes to this. We're gonna cook those onions out, cook those tomatoes out. So now we're using the fat from the chorizo to kind of cook these onions that we got going on in here. And these tomatoes as well. I know it's chunky, but you know what? We're gonna eat it in a tortilla watching some TV. So we're cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so now we get to the point where the onions are translucent, right? That mean for you those that don't speak kitchen talk, it's kind of like we kind of it's kind of see through, right? Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna lower our stove. We're gonna lower it to like low to medium. Then we're gonna get some pre-made salsa, the chunky kind, and we're gonna add it to it. I know, everyone's all, why don't you just make your own? You know what, sometimes you don't want to. Sometimes you're like, hey, sabes que? I'm gonna go to the corner store and get what I can. Picnic, whatever picnic has, I'm gonna use. All right? So then we mix all this guy together, all right? I know, it looks weird. What are you making? Mexican pasta sauce? No, it's not Mexican pasta sauce. It's not Mexican pasta sauce. Okay, so then we're gonna lower it even more now. And it's real important that we always have chips by the side of our stove so we can try everything. If you don't, get some. All right, so a little bit. Here comes the tricky part. All right, we're gonna put it on low. Now we get our handy dandy eggs. How many eggs do you wanna use? Hmm, whatever you wanna use. All right, this is the time we're real cautious about our egg usage. All right, I'm gonna turn it off, it's really good. Make sure when we crack eggs, we always crack them on a flat surface, never on a corner. Like that, open it. And all we're doing is putting that bad boy on top. That's it, bam. So that's two eggs in there already, right? And what's happening is that the steam from the chorizo is cooking that, oh, cooking that egg, right? I know. Look at all the fat on the side of that. It's bad for you, but you know what? I'm gonna get a tortilla and it's gonna soak it all up and it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so you see that it's going, it's cooking a little slow, but it's doing its thing, right? So the cool thing is, look, there's another one of these bad boys right here. See, there's another one. We're gonna use it as a lid, right? Bam. The reason I put the pan on top the way I did was to help steam out the eggs, you know, to just, you know, help the process a little bit faster. Um, we get easily thrown in your oven, you know, but who wants a hot oven in Texas? Okay, so while that bad boy's going, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna finish off the dish that we're gonna do. So we get more cilantro, right? or like some people like to call it coriander. And just what we need, right? Mm, not much. Okay, move that to the side. Do our green onions, same way, right? Remember, we always pinch your knife, and we always grab like a claw, right? Like a bear. Roar. That's what my friends like to call me. He's a big bear. I am a big bear. Roar. Anyway, so we get this. Right, and there's our green onions. Right, so we have that ready. Oh. So what I'm doing is you notice the eggs, how they're cooking? So they're, they're turning white finely right here, look, on the sides, you know? And the cool thing is that while this is going, we're watching TV, you know? While these guys are going, we heat up our tortillas. Pull this out of the way. Let this bad boy steam. So here we have some tortillas, the harina, that means flour. And uh, we're cooking along, and we're going and we're going. And then, like, it's weird because some people like tortillas just toasted. And a lot of us like them with their little bit of color, right? Like we like, you know, I like a little, a couple of freckles on a lady. It's okay, tortillas with freckles, it's even amazing. Oh, look, see, like that color? Once it gets the color of the back of your neck, you're good, right? That's what you're looking for. See, look, if this tortilla could rise, so can you, honey, you could rise as well. Don't worry, baby, we're on the same boat. Stupid eggs. Ah, here we go. Okay, so with eggs, Eggs is like anything else, right? Some people are kind of 
I like my eggs like this. I like my eggs like that. You know, I like my eggs runny. And I'm the one, and I'm the one cooking. So it, it goes the way I want it. You see how they are now? So now, mira, son listos. Okay, these tortillas. Allah. Okay, put that bad boy in the back. Okay, now we're gonna come over here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we have the chorizo. We have the chorizo, right? We have the eggs that are cooking on there. We have all that good stuff. So now what we're gonna end up doing is that we're gonna have that cilantro green onions that we had, right? On top like this. Pepper on top of this. Okay, and then it's up to you. I know when I was when I was when I when I was in the you know growing up in my mom's house in the west side, we couldn't afford all the great cheese, so it's always you get the big block of 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 the government cheese, or we had this fake Parmesan cheese. That's what we grew up with, so that's what I just like to use. So then we do this thing. Bam. Uh, it could be a good filling for enchiladas. You know, it could be, it could be used for anything. And the cool thing about this is that, you know, you let it sit, tomorrow's gonna be even better. You know, even though the eggs are in there, you mix it all together, it'll be really good tomorrow. And that's what we have, guys. And this is, like you saw, it was super easy. Um, the only thing that took a little bit longer was cooking the chorizo, but it's chorizo. And then just tortillas, así. And then, like that. There's one of these things that you share with everybody. So. Mm -hmm. It's so hot. Remember, don't be a weasel, eat a chorizo.